day 10 now so we're still on the filing blocks you can see here we left with one file above the horizontal beam last yesterday so there's two more files being done this morning and on the other side of this as well so yesterday we leave you the total for day one to day nine is 45,010 pesos um, although I got a lot of materials back up for advance in two weeks but I want to show you the day-to-day -day usage and the day-to-day -day labor so you will have proper idea of how much it costs and now I think we're going to be consuming around 5,000 worth but with my total I had to tell you that I also allow miscellaneous for like picking up the cement, gravel, sand and other materials so I allow that so to give you a better idea of how much it costs and you can see this is 45 and 10 pesos 45,010 pesos but this is what stage we are at so I know it's gonna be costing more than 100,000 pesos but you can see that this house is not a small house we got three bedroom and the size is 9 meters by 6 meters so it's fair quite a fair size house but since they own the land, the land is the one that's really cost a lot when you're trying to build a home here in the Philippines. If you are near the city like we are. But if you are in a far flung, unknown, unheard of, very far from facilities, that you have to come here to the city to do most of your things, then of course you can see that you can buy it dirt cheap. And um, you heard that a lot of these foreigners that living in their cheap places are now selling off because it's not working for them. And yeah, you have to consider the land location when you want to retire here in the Philippines. It's, if you want to be in the city, near the city, or in a province, what we are, we are on the hills, but it won't take us long to go to the city so I will be updating you from time to time for day 10 old man Tony is still here he's chipping the other side because he wants there that's what he's doing right now chipping up that old column of the old house so he can pour the tie beams on this side of the wall so it will all be square up. <laughs> so this afternoon in day 10, um, Predo did not go back to work because um, he had diarrhea. He had um, bought some chicken that he said is gone off. And his stomach is really grumbling so i only had old man tony with me for the afternoon ship so the filing on that other side has halted because fredo's not here but he'll be back tomorrow morning so this is the whole we're almost squaring up the budget bungalow and there you can see that old man tony is there right on the corner filing up on there poured the tie beam footings the 12 foot tie beam footings and filed up about two lines of or three lines of hollow block already and he's also been chipping this side here on this corner to get the measurement right to get uh, um, chips some of their old column foundation from on their wood column so this is like this is the side of the house that you can see
So here, what we plan to do is just square up everything on this side, and then we will do the flooring. So we we'll, so we can take up all those couples in the middle. We'll just square it up. Close all the columns that's going to be touched by the flooring. Then we can do the flooring. So all this couple will be out. Because look how hard it is to get the muck towards the one working. The loy has to go down from from all this scaffold just to cross over it's taking long mm -hmm. so this is the side of the building work so you can see here and as we go around I'll just stop this. Let's just go continue on the other side. So this is the front side now because that is the front door here on the first in this corner. So that's the other side. This is the front door there. And so there will be a window on here. Then let me cross over. So there will be a window there. This is half area. This will be half the toilet. So there will be a little bit left. Half the toilet and shower area. So there will be no windows on this one. And this is the back part. So you see there's a back door. So that will be the back door. There, that's the one intended to be as the back door, and right next to the back door will be the first, the co a, a, a room, the corner room. That's why you can see there's an allocation for the window. And this is where Tatay Tony is filing on this corner here. So far, he found three. That's the fourth level from the footings that he done on the tie beams on the bottom. So I asked him that if we can round it out together, all of it, and then we'll start pouring the pour the floor because. It's quite hard to work on the scaffold inside. <laughs> so he had four files there now. And tomorrow they'll be faster because there'll be two again. And she, he already chipped those one on the end of this line. So it's hard to really crawl around bringing the muck over so so far this is the overall thing that you can see as of day 10 and at the end of this video I'll be giving you like always the total cost the total running cost as usage labor for the day. So this is now five o'clock. We have no Fredo, Fredo back at the af in the afternoon, so it's only Old Man Tony and Daloy. So for today, we have used um, for 85 hollow blocks, 
six bags of cement and six rebars and of course that half day work of Fredo so I'll be giving you the total for today and considering that day 9 yesterday was 45,010 pesos so after the end of this video I'll be giving you the total for day 10 so 85 hollow blocks 6 cement and 6 whole rebars has been used for today so you can see that the one that's been filed by Tatay Tony is over there in that corner like I showed a while ago so tomorrow will be this top here and then here then once it's all square we plan to do the flooring so all these couples will be taken off so all of them now is listening you can see here like the province they're listening to the radio about the latest update for the epidemic that's happening because um here radio is still the most popular entertainment not television so you can see they're still listening to the radio and in groups yeah,